Okay, the rest of the project is this. Crowdfunding love, test, contemplate, recognize, nourish the truth of being human. Okay. Um, of course, test, contemplate, recognize is the recipe that I've been using for creation, which now I use this for sculptures, paintings, music. I now am starting a new art project, which instead of using canvases and uh, music and all that type of stuff, I'm going to go to the collective bubble of mind. Because that's, a, that's what we have. So it's, we have to think like this, for example. I, my, the, the planet is in orbit around the sun. We are in orbit around the planet. And then there's a collective bubble of memory that orbits our imaginations. So, for example, 2016 September, correct? There. We identify part of the collective memory. So it doesn't exist. Just the memories that go by, go by. The same way we'll never be 13 again. Seconds that go by don't come back. All there is from this point and what's gone is memory. So this conversation started and sorry God, what's there now is the collective memory that we're talking about. We're humans. Okay, so it starts with this idea. The top of this tree. Picking right fruit from the ground. Of course, what I mean by this is if you want that apple, the right apple, right? You cannot go up there. I, mean, I just fucking mean. Because when you bite down, it's not ready. So it's not the apple you want. In order to get that apple right, you have to wait for life to give it to you, for time for the tree to make it right. And then it lets go, so you'll find it on the floor. So like in life, you can't reach out to take good from life. To be good, it has to be given to you. Like love, crowdfunding love. See, that love is what connects us humans as one thing. That's what we are. Because that's what we are. Because that's what we are. Humans are one big family. And love is what connects us to us. And love is also what connects us as species to this planet. Because if 2000 year, 2016 years ago, in the birth of Christ, if love had stopped then again, the process would stop too, which women would stop giving themselves blood, flesh, and bone for all humans right now. Without love, that shit wouldn't happen. So therefore, we wouldn't be here tomorrow. So love connects us to us. It's our magnetic pole, you know what I'm talking about, it makes sense. And it connects us to this planet as species because it keeps us here. By the process of love, we meet love, we throw the spark inside, and that creates another, our treasure. It creates our biggest fortune, which was what we give to life, which is our children. And then everything else goes around that. We start looking at our children and living for our children to make sure they get what we did. Because that's what we want for our children, the best, right? Father to father. So yeah, crowdfunding love, that's what we do as PC, to keep ourselves one big family and connect with this planet. And then love, for example, to tell you, love is something, if you have love to give, man, you only feel that love when you give. And by giving it, thank you. Because it's you opening up for me to give you my love that I get to feel the love I feel for you. Because if you don't open up, I ain't giving you the, I ain't giving you the love I feel, I'm not feeling it. In order for you to feel the love, you gotta give. You know what I mean? Meant to deal. Fell in love and it was in that process of giving you, whoa, I love you, because it opened up. And you felt the love you were feeling. All right? So it's not even giving you love for you to give me love back. It's you opening up for me to give you the love that I feel for it. So that's why I did it. Not for you to love me. It's you opening up so I can feel the love I feel for you. And oh, thank you very much. So it's something you have to give in order to feel. All right? There's the truth of being human. Here it comes, Kelly. I came to the conclusion. I'm not saying what I say is true. Uh, this is an art project. But I did, come, I did do a science project. And the nurse truth of being human is this. I came to the conclusion we're aliens to this ecosystem. And I did a science project to come to that conclusion. A very simple science project. I didn't invent nothing. What I discovered was something we're very good at, the tool. And most likely, I will bet my hand, we're the best at it in this solar system, which is using our imagination. We're fucking great, man. So, you want to do the science project? We're going to go for it. So now, here it is right here. In our imagination, because we're very good with it, we're the best. I mean, fuck, look around you. We're top of the top. With this magic paintbrush that we have, we're going to take an element from the ecosystem. If that element is missed, that means it's part of it. So if something is taken from you, and you fucking miss it, man, it's because it's part of it. So, for example, with this magic stick now, we're going to take an element from the ecosystem. 
like magic. We're going to take out the egg of the mosquito. We're going to leave the mosquito alone. We're just going to take out the egg of the whole fucking plant. All the eggs of the mosquito. There we go, watch this. Done, okay? Let's use our imagination and see what happens. The mosquito, they put their eggs in water. If we take out the egg from the water, the small fish has no food. The other fish that eats that small fish has no food. So if you have a graphic in our imagination showing the balance of the ecosystem, by taking out the egg, which is an element, it's not a species, it's just an element. By taking out the egg, we now notice that the graphic is going down. That means it's being missed. Other things are falling with it. Therefore, the egg is part of the ecosystem. Correct? Makes sense? Okay, so it's functional, this science project. We're doing it good. By taking it out, if it's missed, that means it's part of and we're using our imagination to reach it with a magic stick and we were able to get the X part of the ecosystem. So it's functional, correct? It functions. It makes sense what I said to you right now, right? So, and because I've been thinking about this a whole lot right here, I'm here every day, man. Somebody made me believe and now I believe. Uh, I came to the conclusion which is this. Somebody made me believe in myself, not in what I'm saying. What I'm saying now is my belief. Giving it up, I'm not saying I'm right. I want to learn. That's why I share. If you have anything to say, you say, and I want to listen and learn from it. See if I'm wrong, because I want to be right, I want to learn. So I came to the conclusion man, that the ecosystem is so fucking strongly connected like this that prey need predator. We know predator need prey. But it's not that obvious that prey need predator, is it? But it's true, man. Seven years ago, because of the natural park things in America, uh, one of them was Yellowstone, and they had wolves that were hunting buffaloes, predators. And the Americans started thinking, hey man, these parks can start hunting people because now people are going to go to those parks. They were starting this thing of people going to parks. So they decided, fuck this shit, sh kill the wolves. They're predators. You know, they might hunt people. There's buffaloes that are being hunted by the wolves. So, you know, they're predators. Fucking kill the wolves. By killing all the wolves, they did. What happened to the buffaloes? They disappeared. Which is very simple. Everything, here's another key element. Kill, kill so now we realize that by taking, we're playing, we went with an element, now the brain predator, which is part of, now species, but we went strict to brain predators by taking out the predator, seeing what happens with that. And there's another key element. Everything in this ecosystem, like the apple that falls from the tree, seeds back into the ecosystem, including the dead buffalo. The buffalo hunted, the wolf hunted the buffalo at that part before they got shot. And they ate the buffalo, but they would leave the rest of the buffalo. They would attract animals, they would attract smaller animals, they would mess with the grass, make this grass grow, they would bring the buffaloes. So when the Americans decided to shoot all the fucking wolves, there was no more predator to hunt the buffalo. There was no more dead carcass to feed that ecosystem of animals that made that grass grow. So the year after that, after they killed the predator, there was no more wolf to hunt the buffalo. The buffaloes were coming by because they did not disappear to immigrate. When they were coming by, because that the ecosystem had been disturbed, man. They took the dead buffalo, they took the predator to hunt the buffalo. So by not being a dead buffalo there, they weren't seeding conditions for buffaloes to come no more. Because that dead buffalo was seeding conditions for other buffaloes to come by feeding all that ecosystem down in that grass. You understand this? So we can come to the conclusion that yes, also predators are part of this ecosystem. And of course. Things seep back into the ecosystem. That's the whole fucking purpose, connection. And when I say, for example, um, I'm talking about biologically, right? So I, I get to this conclusion we're aliens to this ecosystem. Because the egg of the mosquito has more connection to this than we do. For example, what does happen if humans disappear? Okay? What happens if humans disappear? So let me give you this much. Humans disappear. Bing. Okay? The animals we domesticated, like an elastic. We went into nature, grabbed it, pulled it into our collective bubble of memory, and we made our creation, domesticated animal. Once we let go, like an elastic, it will go back into its natural model shape. Because it's part of it. So that will disappear. Just those animals will go back into the natural wild state. Even in the Amazon, where people live in balance with nature, the difference will be three pigs inside a fence will be running around free. I don't want to be right, I'm questioning, but it's not as obvious as the egg of the mosquito. And you can, each, you can actually think this, if we take out humans, nature takes everything back. So the graphic doesn't do this, the graphic was that. Obvious. I'm not saying I'm right, I'm questioning. It's a story I started telling you, the science project that I did. For you to question, that's what I'm doing, I'm questioning too. So because of this, yeah, I came to the conclusion, we're against the ecosystem. We're not part of like the egg of the mosquito. 
I mean, we're not connected like everything else. We're living our own reality, feeding off this. What I'm talking is this, that, yeah? When you're born, you come, you're an ecosystem. You're 10% human, 90% bacteria. That's your composition. A lot of that bacteria came from your mother. And then you dove into the woods, collecting more bacteria. Healthy shit, mud and stuff. What happens then is, the, that bacteria is not part of you. It goes to you. It finds an ecosystem where it can live. And then that bacteria has got two choices. Then. One, find the flow. Adapt, make you stronger, it, it too, because it's living in a healthy ecosystem. Building up. Or it'll fucking feed off you. Selfish. And kill you. Because it didn't go into you. It's feeding off you. But I'm not saying we're that bad bacteria. I'm just saying we're not connected. We didn't find the flow. Did it? We're living our reality in this planet. Which is not this planet's reality. So what disappears with us? If humans have to disappear, is all that we know is true. Fiction. So once it's fiction, now it's reality that yet. Like for example, photo machines, spaceships and shit like that, planes. If humans would disappear, that second, those things would cease to exist. They'd stop and no longer be. Because it only works with humans. Dogs don't function with it. Right? So our creations don't work with us. So if humans would dis were to disappear, our creations would disappear with us. Because they're not from this fucking planet. They're from our imagination, man. Without us, they won't grow like the trees grow. They're not part of the ecosystem. So yeah, it's like this stuff, yeah. There's the planet orbiting the sun, us orbiting the planet, and the collective bubble of memory orbiting our minds, making us mess up. See, I'm aware of that if I start talking about the past, I'm bringing the past into the present, therefore I'm letting the past into the present. Like, you know, I'm sorry for that, man. I try to avoid that as much, because I'm really interested in what's to come. All there is that is this. For every second that went by, no longer exists. That's collective bubble of memory. That we have in this conversation. What is for certain, and even that can change, but I can tell you this I've seen people die and that hasn't changed yet. Tomorrow the sun's gonna come up, right? For that to happen, Tavier, we're flying 462 meters per second down. We're in velocity, man. And that's what's going on in space right now. We're fucking flying, we're going 1,600 and something kilometers in orbit around the planet. So it's like this time is this, Tavier. Seconds that go by no longer exist, all there is is now. And now it's 462 meters per second. Flight. But look, you're saying, Steve, you're fucked up, you're going crazy. No, man. For the sun to come up tomorrow, what I'm telling you is happening. This is what's happening. We're flying through space. I'm mean, fast. For, for coming December, being winter for us, we're going to have to fucking fly from one point to the other of the sun. So we're in a sailboat. Strong winds. If anything falls overboard, it's gone. I mean, if it's a person, uh, send something for him to float. But it's gone. I mean, it's, the past is gone. It's just not our collective memory. Man. And if you focus on what's important to you, it's being present now and what's to come. What do you want, man? You want to be happy. I want to be happy. This is why I give this to, to life. I, I want to, you know? I say, I come with open heart. I'm not fucking around, man. I'm not lying. That's true. I, I'm the example I want to see, man. I, I use myself as the example. It's not what we say, it's what we show. So I try to match what I say with what I show. By being the example. Yesterday I made a mistake, man. Big one. It was my fault that shit happened. I should have just fucking let the kid at home. Kai. Okay, Kai. I mean, okay, you got two reasons. But still, see, I'm not like that. I can't understand that. Even my mom, I, I know what, it gives me pleasure. My, my son says that to me, Daddy, I want to go see Grandma. I go, fuck you. Who is it? He wants to see you. Hey, before, he didn't want to go. Now he wants to go, son. Of course, it's your grandmother. And I, I, I told my mom yesterday again, Mom, see, every time I see you smile at my son, so that she's aware, I am now having that great mom I never did have. And listen, I'd rather have this great grandmother because you're focusing on what's important for me too than to go back and change anything. See, I wouldn't want it for me, I want it for him. So for me, it's fucking perfect. Perfect. Okay. I can't go back in time and change anything, can I? We just have to learn from it. And think of the present and how to move forward. And if you want to be happy and you can't go back, listen, I was aware, I realized, we didn't know. And my son wants to go there, I'm not forcing him. He wants to go to the grandmother's house the same way he wants to see you, the same way he wants to be with you, man. I, I don't force my phone, my chat, I'm like, I don't do that to him. I'm looking at him grow. And seeing who he is, that's why I'm realizing, holy shit, man. 
fuck, this thing's genes, man. This thing's big. I mean, he's already got information that I do. It's already in him. Wait a minute. Just tell me how this like is. We don't see the future, but fuck, we guarantee you, man, the future sees us. What we're talking about is humans. So humans is our children. That they will grow into the future. So they're using our example. And as they're growing, they're looking at the present and going to the future. So we don't see future, it's just a guess what's to come. But trust me, they see present. And they take the example of us into the future. Because that's what children do, man. And when you talk about future, is that humans. We think humans is universe, it's not. Humans is one thing, planet is another. And if we look at planets, the ecosystem, we're not living with it. We're the only species out of it. So see, that's what I mean. We're aliens to the ecosystem, biologically. But listen, you know another thing. Steve Hawkins says, you run the risk of being alienated by artificial intelligence. I discovered, discovered because I didn't invent nothing. We have been alienated, man. By Pinocchio. Dash, world economy, man. See, world economy is human creation, too. It disappears with humans, like everything else. So it's fiction. It's not part of this nature, it's part of us. And human economy is uh, creation. And when I say we're slave to it, man, it's like this. For example, I realized when my son was born, that as soon as he is born, I give this soul to the world economy and trade. He's not going to get work to earn money to buy the garbage they convince him to recycle a lifetime. What a fucking deal. So people come to this planet, they're part of us. They're our children, our biggest treasure. And then as we put our biggest treasure here, somebody says, you have to become someone. Fuck you, he already is someone. And if you pay attention, you're going to grow and see who he is. He's part of you in a better version, ready to walk into the bush and make it just a bit more further. Find out. You know what I mean? So this is genetics, this is growth. And is this your art question? Yeah, I, I'm using the technique that I do to create. I now test, contemplate, recognizing with the collective bubble of memory. So I'm, t I'm telling this story to people, and then uh, the people kind of like, oh boy, that makes sense. And I go, if that makes sense, well, that, that's because it's true. I'm not, I'm not trying to convince you. It's you coming up with the answer saying, wait, that's making sense. So making sense is kind of like a magnetic pull. You know what I mean? And then every time it goes, it goes, it makes sense. So, see, where we're going, nobody knows. We can take many, many routes to go. But one thing's for certain is that where we're coming from, that nobody can change. So it's what connects us to us and to this planet that matters, man. Which is love. It's like as if we're born and then money is like oxygen. No, oxygen is part of the ecosystem. Money is not. Money is part of our collective imagination. So it's being slave to it is this. Being slave is now, we're not living for what matters that yet. So if I was to come up with a pill right now, you understand, you're, you're, you're economist. If I was to come up with a pill that cured cancer, I would be a threat to the world economy. Stocks would crash here. Because people are making a lot of plans and making a lot of money with cancer. Because of their looks, everybody's got cancer. It's an epidemic. Nobody's talking about fuck that shit. Everybody's got cancer. It wasn't like this before. What happened? What, the sun's provoking cancer? Hey, I'll come everything else is not dying of cancer. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Business is not charity. All right? And then there's a lot of oops. But oops. So but if we make a mistake and keep on doing it, we repeat that mistake. If they go to free sleep, we we'll repeat this one. So you can imagine there's some people that will hit their head and not correct that. And then they'll keep on going. Boom. Oh, not correct it. Boom. Oh, and not correct it. Boom. Oh. And it's normal. Because you're doing it so many times, now it's frequent. You're hitting your head on the wall. Because you hit, you don't correct, you just boom. I'm, I'm using an example. But if you make the same mistakes over and over and don't accept those mistakes, you're not going to learn from them. And by not accepting, it's getting somebody else to blame. And then you keep on making the same mistake because you don't learn from them. And so it was frequent. And if somebody does something frequently, well, that's dash normal. So it means like this to me. We're living in a society doing shit that's normal, but that doesn't mean it's correct. For example, well, people's rules and what they do are often different things, man. So it's like this. If you want to catch a school of fish, what you have to do is you have to swim this way, you come with them at the other way. So people's rules and what they do, our nature, are often different things. So for example, a father that would, all of a sudden, because of bad luck, bad luck is part of the equation in this life. And he found himself in a situation where he had no money to get for his children. And then all of a sudden, my man, my, and all of a sudden he decided, Stomach story, and all of a sudden, well, I the and all of a sudden, you decide, all of a sudden, you decide that, uh, fuck this, I'm gonna go out there and sleep. Yeah. I can't understand the fact. So, the moment that guy for me leaves the house now, he leaves the house and closes the door, for me, he's a fucking hero, man. If he gets caught, he's a girl. Some people's rules are not getting more often than the other. But, 